Hi friends, hope you're having a lovely day today. Welcome back to another Lightroom Street Portrait Workflow. Today we're going to be editing this photo, making it look quite nice. I think what we're going to go for is a bit of a punchy look with maybe some warm shadows. I don't know, let's get started. And as we get started, I want to extend my greatest, my greatest level of, of, of possible serotonin filled gratefulness to everyone who is following me at this moment and is subscribed. I just passed a thousand subscribers and that is a fantastic feeling and I really appreciate you guys uh, for for being interested in these videos that I'm making and being interested in listening to me um, digress and maybe maybe divulge some value within that. So thank you so much guys. I really appreciate it. Let's Let's uh let's get this photo looking real nice today. I, th I think there's no better way to celebrate 1,000 subscribers than to edit a photo in a mediocre fashion. So here we go. So one thing I want to do specifically with this photo is I I want to make it have some warmer shadows and have a, a of course a filmic look like always like I always do with these. But I have a very specific look I'd like to go for in my head, and so that's what we're gonna go for in my head and in real life. <laughs> so I'm going to play with the white balance just a bit. Move the tint over and attempt to green the image just a tad. I do want it to stay fairly warm in the color uh, whirl and in, in the overall color tonage, but I also do want it to not feel too warm. These red shadows, I don't want it to be overwhelmed by warmth, so to speak. So I'm going to do a little, just a tad of this split toning in the blue uh, department, the light blue, and I have the balance shifted over so that the shadows only sort of apply, that the that toning only sort of applies to the shadows as opposed to the entire image like that. So a 75 is a good spot for that. I'm gonna put that at around 10 or 5 or 7, 15. 62 billion. That would be that'd be something to behold. Okay, now I'm going to take the blue channel and pull it down just a little bit and just give the image overall a a maybe a smooth warmthness to it. I think I think that's helping out. I think that's going in the direction I'm trying to go in. We're going to do a little bit of individual color channel manipulation. So orange, going to keep that right around there. This is manipulating a lot of the skin tones. So that's where a lot of my process is coming in here. I don't know if I want to make, in this case, let's make the yellow darker. That's kind of interesting. I'm tempted to go the other way, but it actually looks quite nice darker. So we're going to do that. I'm going to dull this green out just a tad. Let's give this, let's give this some more contrast. Quite nice, quite nice. What can we do with these sliders here? Have I applied grain yet? Oh, I did that, okay. I did that mindlessly. All right, and then so I think our next step is to play with these sliders just to tad a little bit of clarity. A little bit of clarity can go a long way. That can go too far a long way. I can go way past the destination a long way. It's like if you're trying to drive to Kansas, Topeka, that's in Kansas, right? You're trying to go there and you go to Venice Beach. Certainly not a bad detour, but you've overshot your destination. And we don't want to do that. We want to go to Topeka today. Is that Kansas? Hold on, let me look that up. Okay, Google. Oh, I'm I'm typing, so it won't let me. Okay, Google. Topeka. According to Wikipedia, Topeka is the capital city of the U.S. state of Kansas and the seat of Shawnee County. All right. Not only is it there, it's the capital. <laughs> so, so I was correct. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So what needs to be done here? To 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 tie this all together 
put a nice Valentine's Day knot on it. I, I want it to be to stay fairly saturated over all. These skin tones are need some need some love, I think. So very quickly we're gonna make this work. I like how I like how the skin tones are a bit cooler in this case. But I don't want it to be overwhelmingly cool. Okay. So let's see. We're gonna keep manipulating the blue channel just a tad. We're gonna go into the green channel and see if we can do some do some damage there. The good kind of damage. Let's see. Uh like damage to solving a problem. Well, and I guess that would be bad too. Good damage. Good damage. Uh that actually didn't that made everything worse. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> that made everything bad. Move away from that before I have to go to therapy again. Um Hmm. What does this need? The skin tones are just, it's just something that I need them to do that they're not doing. I think white balance might be my my ticket there. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Tint, pull the exposure down a little. Nope, just we're going to keep it right there. <laughs> These entire workflow tutorials are just me moving a fader one direction and then moving it back the other direction. Okay, and then and then they feel a bit too crushed for my liking. Oh, that's interesting. That's intriguing. Is that intriguing to you guys? Is that just me? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That sort of works. That sort of works out there. This is an interesting look today. How much do I want those shadows to sort of be red? Okay, now it's getting there, I think. Uh-huh, that's helpful. It's pulling down uh, in, the, in the shadow portion of the image, pulling down the curve, just a hair. Okay, going back to the, the color channels. Getting those skin tones just right. I want them to feel quite smooth, quite smooth and inviting. I invite you to look at my face. That's what I tell everybody when I take their photo. It's off camera. Normally you'll see it on my photo walk videos. You know, most of what I say, but what I don't say is I'm going to edit this photo as if I'm inviting people to look at your face and want to touch it through the screen. Is that okay with you? Does that make you uncomfortable? Uh, I'd like to know right now before I post it, I can put some disclaimers on the actual posted image if that makes things easier for you in, in terms of allowing me to use this photo. Please do not lick your screen due to the buttery smooth texture of the skin tones. Uh, okay. I think we're going to stop here. This is looking quite nice. We could certainly go further with it if we wanted. But I think we may go on for weeks unchecked if we don't cut it off at some point. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Perfectionism, man. Perfectionism. It is a, it is a, a great disease. A great disease of productivity. Okay. Or a lack of productivity sometimes, too. Okay. That's it. That's very good. I hope this brought you value today. Now I'm going to tweak his shirt. I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I gotta, but the white balance is not right. It's not right. <laughs> is there, does anyone else do this? Is this just me? We're going to make it cooler. We're going to make it cooler. I'm not like, okay. Okay, we're going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there. My hands just had like a seizure to stop me from editing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this brought you value today. Uh, I have Lightroom presets on my website, preset pack, and some free presets as well if you'd like to check them out, if you like my style. Thank you so much again for 1,000 subscribers. That means so much. I just picture 1,000 people in a room caring about what I have to say, and that's a, that's a fantastic visual. I'm sure there was some drop-off somewhere in the middle of that, but... Uh, but you know, it's, it's some, some, let's just say we have a thousand people in a room, eh, four to 500 of them. If they're on their cell phone, not paying attention, they're checking, um, Snapchat. 
st- still, we have a 500, 400 success rate. I'm fine with that. Awesome. Uh, you guys have a lovely day. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.